damn, that's rough. Uh, but what I was gonna say is, you definitely, as long as there's a safety line on there, to like if that if that line that you're using across snaps, you don't just go like drifting out of control down the river. It's cool. It's fine. Yeah, I forgot I was gonna have to take the path back to the bridge. It made the most sense. Man, this place is just full of accidents, isn't it? Where's this road go? The road goes this way. It's like a dead end road, because that's just a side path. I thought the road was going to cut around that way, and then I realized there's a mountain there, and it would have to be a very sharp turn. Man, this place is a wreck. <laughs> if I could, you know, tell for the last three hours of bullshit. If you, or if you guys couldn't tell for the last three hours of bullshit. This place is a bit of a wreck. But I feel good now. I feel better now, I should say. I have my gun back. I'm outside. I have light. Knock on wood. And there's no creatures around to eat me. Because I killed their boss. That's what I'm thinking. That plant right there I thought started moving as I came over the, hem, he, the hill. And I thought it was one of them immediately after me saying that. And I was going to be kind of upset. Let's go run through the woods. And I had so many bullets too. I was doing so good. And then you just took all my bullets away. So you're like, don't use up all your bullets. It was a deer. Don't use up all your bullets. And then it's like, all right, well, I'm going to take your bullets away. Because fuck you. I was like, mother. Mm. Then again, I wouldn't have used the forklift if I had a gun. But. If you'd have more mobs in there for me to kill, I would have used all my bullets and then had to forklift. Better not kill that deer, goddammit. He's the one living thing that I've seen that hasn't tried to eat me. Don't you dare. I'd be so pissed. I'm just going to walk along the wall just out of safety. You never know. I might not die, but it could do damage. It looks like, say, it looks like a side of a skull. Like a side of a face, I should say, because there's a nose involved. And the skulls don't have those things. I thought that pole right here was a person. This game's got me all paranoid, and I couldn't tell you why. It's been a walk in the park. And then at the same time, like moments like this, the music is nice in the background, it's not overpowering. But it's also very calming. Like, this is actually very relaxing to me. This heavenly music, walking through nature. Like, you can see the boat down there in the water, which means I was over there. Yeah, so that's where the boat yard was, which means the lighthouse and stuff was up over there. And then the cave and stuff, the city was probably on that side of the mountain. Like, just the amount of distance I have traveled yeah. I'd still love a map. I think I just saw a figure walk by right by that hedge line going left behind that bush line. Don't you dare put me in a maze. Okay, back to a street type of thing. We're in a park. Oh, so literal walk in the park now, huh? Never mind. I'm seeing things. No, I saw it too. Don't worry. But I'm pretty sure all of this is you seeing things. Was that a neighborhood? Was I right? Or is this just a park next to a hospital? Because I know they'll do that too. For the sick. See, the, the, that's the hospital up there. Nope. Neighborhood. I called the neighborhood too. Woods in the neighborhood. Yay. Well, woods in the lumberyard in the neighborhood. Yay. I'll be on. Yay. At least with the swing, I can move my camera. Bon. Okay, cool. They actually move. I was going to be sad if they were sturdy things. Come on, 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 yeah, 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 yay, 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 fuck yeah, physics, jump, uh, and then he makes it up this one, and he goes over this side, oh, and he jumps, and he goes, hardcore parkour, then he goes through a swing, does a 180, and then he flies through the air and lands on the sidewalk, woo, crowd goes wild, he's the hardcore parkour champion of the world, woo, Sorry. 
That swing is still moving too. It's a nice little neighborhood. I need to get to the hospital fast. Sorry, is it because I'm walking? Is that what the thing is? Are you yelling at me to speed it up? Is it because I'm joking around having hardcore, hardcore parkour training you for your future? You ungrateful bitch. What happened? I didn't see shit. And now it's no longer peaceful and nice. This g the game tells you to do a 15 minute break. The 15 minute break is you walk in Your there. house always made me think of pain and suffering. Damn, that's it's fucked. incredible how many emotions stay with us into adult life. But you know, I was in a similar situation. When Richard started taking drugs, I remember one day the phone rang. Dad answered. It was the hospital. Richard overdosed. They didn't know if they could save him. I didn't do that. Mom prayed all night by his bed. He's lying. She's lying. When Rich came home, Dad, God damn it, he, you know, had this cable. He'd always tell us it was for our own good. My dumb brother didn't even have the strength to protect himself. And it all went to hell after that. Oh, Dad never smoked. I never saw him drink anything. There was nothing I could see that would make him be like that. But he always told us that discipline was important. Audio so ahead. That darkness doesn't need a reason or an excuse. <laughs> Those subtitles are so far behind. Sometimes. This game is going back to having a zombie feel to it. Basketball court. Kind of hard to play on bricks. Ball hits the one little, one little brick a li uh, at a weird angle, and uh, all of a sudden the ball goes flying away. I, I, part of me wants to walk up to every, like, house and stuff like that, but check the doors. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to enjoy my walk. Because it almost feels like, like, yeah, it's nighttime, obviously. But uh, it also just feels like there's, like, a storm coming with the wind and stuff. Everything blowing. It looks like people are hot. At th this moment right here feels like people are just inside taking cover from a storm that's on its way. Basically. Kick. Where'd it go? Kick. Kick. I tried to kick. I'm just gonna hotwire this tricycle. Get there a little faster. These scenes, like these outdoor scenes are done they're just so freaking pretty. Holy crap. And you're that close to the hospital? At least what seems to be pretty close to a hospital. Like I'm not too far from a hospital. At least it's not up a mountain or anything, because you know I'm in Florida. Ooh, nice house. I can move into the area. Hell yeah. Libby is a wit 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 word. What the fuck? I thought it was a can, man. That's an aluminum. What is this, the 1950s? Libby cursed me. This is all a curse. She's. Oh. 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 I didn't know this was a thing. I was coming up here because there looked like there could be loot. Uh, am I, did she curse me? If I ever come back, um, then I will regret it. Oranges everywhere. I actually didn't realize I was going to walk in here. Dear Miss Libby, I would like to sincerely thank you for all... You can't be doing shit like this when I'm trying to read, all right? But there wasn't black shit on the wall a second ago, I don't feel like. Okay. Didn't mean to turn that off. Okay. I would I would like to sincerely thank you for all the help you have given me in these hard times. Especially considering the fact you're not as able yourself. I am extremely grateful, and I hope that the flowers I have sent at least make that known in some small degree. Libby, I would like to ask you for one more tiny favor. If my son were to show up at your house with his family, please don't mention to him that I want him to be my donor. As you know, our relationship isn't the best. I wanted to speak to him about this personally. If he were to find about 
if he were to find out about it from someone else, he might think that the main goal was getting to him to come here. And we both know that isn't the case. Right, Libby? I'd like you to remember that. So please reread the my request once more. And I probably should just because I can't read that well. I can't read good, <laughs> apparently. Uh, because considering your Alzheimer's, I'm convinced you'll just start blabbling to him needlessly, even though that would almost make him for make her forget about the whole thing anyways. Trust me, Libby. We don't want you to start blabbering for both our six. Wow, that that just like we both remember that Ron's disappearance wasn't your fault. Hugs Howard. Oh. So Howard's a bitch again. Uh, which I think was my dad. But uh that started off such a pleasant note, like thank you, I hope these flowers do well. Oh. Hi, bitch. You fucked with the... You fucked with the wrong man. I wasn't ready for you, but that don't mean I can't fuck you up, bitch. That's right. Get to your bag. I fucked up the witch. Fucking asshole. It wasn't my intent to be, like, attacked at all, and I definitely wasn't ready for it, but, like... Oh, God. Ashley finally told Mitch to get lost. Seriously? That guy's messed up. Oh, well. I think I just murdered him, so we're good. You know, Ash saw him last week in front of her house. She said he stood there for a good few hours. She was almost ready to call the cops, but he finally left. Recently, I saw that light in the left. I don't know what the fuck that is. But it it's creeping me out. Is it, Am I just in a darkness? What? Is there something there? I don't know. I just... There was... Oh, that was my cursor. I fucking... I'm, I'm, I didn't realize I had a cursor while I was in the text. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just saw this thing over here, and I'm like, what is that? Um. Okay, he came to the school re recently. He came to the school in his dad's life jacket. It reeked of fish in the entire school. He said there'll come a time when he'll clean us all up. So that's, you know, not sketchy. One kid from our class tried to set him straight, but poor guy. Mitch really beat him up. Then he took out some rusty hook from his backpack and said that if anyone messes with him again, they'll end up hanging from it. Weirdo. I'm scared of him. I'm pretty sure this is a shitty place if a guy... What's this door doing? <laughs> uh, if a guy can just walk into a school, threaten him, and then when a kid like stands up to him and he just gets his ass whooped and then threaten again and they're just like, ah, he's good. Um... Am I missing something? Fuck you. Ah, key. So I got locked in here, basically. That's what you're telling me. It didn't say locked, it just said open. That's why I was a little confused. I thought it was glitched. It's okay, I killed the witch. The witch is dead. Witch. All right, I hope they don't care that I bring a gun into a hospital. No, I don't think they will. For one, they can treat it immediately. And two, they clearly don't give a shit about anything else. I hate, I wish I could look around. So much time has passed since the accident. And you're not showing any signs of life. I've been in a coma the whole time. So, yeah, I actually didn't think about the fact that, like, this whole thing was a coma from the get-go. Like, I was never on the train. I probably never had a family. Like, this whole time, I just got to, like, a coma when I was young, and I've just spent my entire life asleep. So, all of this time has been a lie. <clears throat> but again, here's the peaceful-ass music. Nice little street. To, like, this would be so fun to skate down, too. Nice little neighborhood down there. Not too big. Everyone would know everybody. You're right down the street from a hospital. I am losing all types of frame right now. I'm loading up the map. <laughs> Apparently. And I should be at the hospital now. 
which is. I hope the girls are all right. No, no, I'm gonna. It, basically, if I were to make a guess, it's I've been. I'm in the hospital. I'm in this hospital, and I I had some accident, went to a coma, and then in the sleep, is when I left. So it's taken me to come back. In order to, like, I'm gonna go into this hospital. I'm gonna find Matt, myself and Matt, wake up. Matt. You naive fucking brat. Jesus Christ. You thought that'd be the end. No. You thought you'd meet with our good old friend and it would all be over. You thought you'd get off the hook so easily. That we're as naive as your poor, stupid Ellen. Just disappears. Maybe you thought you'd hit us in the face and we'd shut up. <laughs> I'd shoot you in the face. Matt, understand this already. This is not the end. This is barely the beginning. We're coming. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is near the end. I made it to the hospital. Y'all can fuck off. I win. You lost. Can I get my vision back? Thank you. I hate that vision so much. I'm not happy to be at a hospital, but I'm happy to finally be at the hospital. What? Dorgo Broom. Okay. Did I just see somebody in there? No. Uh, then I probably have to use the front door. Over here. Logically speaking. Oh, even though that, I think this is the emergency. Yeah. So it's not the front door, it's the emergency door. Even though I... Okay, I was going to say, I don't actually see doors. <laughs> why are the why are they old, like, 19, like 1800s doors? Jesus. I think we're a modern hospital, but we ran out of money for the last two doors, so, uh... You'll just have to good luck. Oh, parkour. Push to wall to up there, and bam. Bring my parkour champion back to life. It's funny, too, because I was actually going to walk down this road first. CBD853. It's not... It's just... It's interesting, because it's bigger than that thing by quite a bit. And it's bright pink. All right. Well, there's clearly some stuff in here. Is that, everybody? Is that ammo? Am I gonna pick up ammo at a hospital? <laughs> I assume that would be the security office. Of course, it's not gonna just be right there. Come to. I'm gonna. Uh, but I am gonna have the pistol on my side, and I'm just gonna whoosh, shoot people. To, there's gonna be one guy over top. Oh man, this isn't the room. There's gonna be one guy over talking to me, talking shit. And I'm just gonna pop them, and it's gonna, and I'm gonna go back to sleep. God damn it! How are you gonna tease me with that loot, and then fucking? Get my quick draw ready. I feel like this should be a security office and they should have security somewhere on it. Oh, the door opened in my face. Cool. This is where it's not used to show somebody walking in. Wow, I actually have a reflection of arms. That's kind of creepy. Because, like, I'm just, like... Like, all you see is my arms. Like, I'm extending out of the darkness. That's weird. Okay. As long as the lights are on, I'll be fine. It'll be comfortable. There's no peaceful music anymore, though. All right, so this is going to be blocked by that. I could grab a snack, potentially. Oh. Am I not going that way? I thought I was going to be going the other way. Nice little area. There's definitely a lot of this stuff. This definitely has, like, a 90s vibe, which, I mean, it is in the 90s. It's like, that's when the story place takes place. But um, it's done a pretty good job with that. Because, like, I look around, and anytime I think about the, the fact that I'm supposed to be in the 90s, I'm like, you know what? That makes sense. Freaking bully alley type seats. <laughs> wow. I have thoroughly enjoyed this adventure. Got scared again. No dogs, no smoking, no bicycles, and no skateboarding. 
And then there's a reflection of it right next. Like, the, there's the dark reflections just right there. This game is unplayable. Change machines. God. This is the 90s. Where do you even get change machines now? Why did I just hear something fall over? Did I just see movement over there? Like somebody followed me in. Whoa. Oh, I just meleeed. Okay. Gray. Donald. Family name Gray. Almagest. Shiver. Cliff. Diagnosis. I can't read that. Flashlight. Uh, put the gun away. <laughs> Family name, name Aaron Donovan. Yeah, Aaron Donovan. Who the hell's that? Thank God they're here. I just oh. need to find the surgical ward. And Palmer. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that said beware on the side of 1957. Bellman, 1957. Okay. I was thinking, I was looking, I was trying, I thought Bellman 1957 was the password. Wow. What the fuck? It, oh my God. This internet alone is just. Um. Okay. What the fuck was the point then? Oh, okay. You, so. Well, logically you'd be like, you would come here first and you wouldn't be able to log in. Greg Indy. So, they're... I'm just trying to see what it says down there on the computer itself. Fantastic contours. So, I don't have a Greg information. What the hell is that a date? Is that like 1335? Is that. Alright, so now I gotta go back the way I just came. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't know that other dude's login, so I. <sighs> that just gave me shivers. Look how old this fucking bed is. Let me stop this. Hell yeah, physics base. Uh, that's fucking creepy. That just brought me like... Dude, I've been playing too much um, freaking phasmophobia really recently. You can't be doing that kind of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> that's some awful shit right there. Close that so I don't have to... You could probably find the other dude's information in here somewhere, or one of these other side rooms. He's Greg. But, whatever. I don't really care. If it's important, it'll definitely alert me that I need to do it. These beds are so freaking old. Are you sure this is the 1990s? These beds look like they're from, like, the 20s or something. Oh, I have to activate a card. In order to get into these rooms, so I'm probably going to find a card down here with the information, and I'm going to have to go back up there to the computer. This fucking place is haunted. I hate that. I hate this. This is all of a sudden not cool at all. What the fuck is happening on the right of my screen? Jesus, are you... Yeah, I don't... You know what? I don't think we're in the fucking 50s or the 90s. All right. Um, gotta be something around here with some info. No, so what the hell? Yeah, that's a trip to Mexico. 1991 trip to Mexico. Nice. Um, cassettes. VHS, I mean. Not cassette. Wow. It's really weird seeing some of this shit. I mean, I got. I mean, I have VHSs downstairs. So it's not that strange. It's just like, it's one of those things where I didn't actually realize. But it's so. It's like because I grew up with them, obviously. So it's like, obviously, yeah. I grew up with them, so they're just normal to me. So my brain's like, oh yeah, VHS, and then I I realize like, oh, 
Wait a minute. It's a fucking VHS. I guess I'm just gonna head back because I got nothing. Can't activate any of this shit. I have to activate a card. There's a paper there. How the hell does that reflect the freaking blue screen? Hold on. Wait a minute. It's like that freaking video of like the girl looking away from the mirror, but the mirror, the reflections is still staring in the same direction too. This is what happened with that computer screen. What the? F okay, so it opens towards me. So if I full sprinted this bitch and open it. Ooh. Interesting. So I can technically still go back this way too. But I don't think there'll be anything in the cafeteria. Yeah. It's nice and peaceful in here though. Blake Jenkins, Sheriff. Why is there a Sheriff thing here? It is weird that you'll see the same assets used over and over. Um, like in a normal game, you'd be like, oh, that's cheap. It's like, I'm seeing the same assets. This is stupid. But in a game that's all about your mentality, being like, what's real, what's not, it's a... Uh, you can use it to your advantage. Because, like, I mean, I'm not saying that is, but, uh, like, me seeing the same assets over and over... I, it was mainly because my brain, like, seeing the same hat over and over, it's because I'm in a coma, so my brain can only reuse what it knows. So, just seeing this type of window and everything, dude, this is so strange. What was it, 1957? Velman, 1957, yeah. I hate that every time I interact with a note, it turns my flashlight off. 1957, go. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, that's why I couldn't activate card last time. High access granted. Thank you. Okay, still can't search. But I already know I need to get there. That would have... So, I should have gone left first. I would have found a card. I would have come this way. I'd have I'd have been able to activate it and been like, Oh, now I need to go to the surgery. Surgical place. And now I can go that way. I don't know. Either way works, I guess. Try me, bitch. Try me, bitch. Try me, bitch. Try, 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 try me, bitch. Try my bitch. So he went into this room, or did he walk around the corner? I'm going to say he walked around the corner. Oh, good. Now the darkness will begin. 